Okay, made my lips bigger and like a thinner nose and flawless skin, okay? That's not me. That's culture. Hi, remember me? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm still alive. I've just been behind the scenes, you know, hiding out, allowing the Lord to work on me. He has been working on me. My daughter is a year and a half, a little more than a year and a half, she's 19 months. And even before that, so the whole pregnancy, you know, this is like a two and a half year thing. God, okay? No, but seriously, I feel like, oh. Remember I talked about new wine skin and like, when is the new wine skin gonna? Okay, seriously, hi. Hi guys. Happy January 26th, 2021. What I wanna share today is what I guess God has been putting on my heart, back to back to back to back. It's crazy when God speaks to you about a specific topic and it's consistent. It's like not just one time, it's constant. I've been, I gotta say, I'm very happy. I talked about this. There's a little post-it on my mirror. It says, search me, oh God, I know my heart. And I just truly believe that saying that, I feel like God just is doing that. He's searching me. He's trying to like refine me. And it's a struggle, you know, to see your own flaws. Okay. Me and my husband watched church on Sunday. I want to share this quote from Pastor Ali. When our identity is found elsewhere, culture will creep in. But when our identity is found in Jesus, we carry kingdom culture into the world. I love this. How true is that to us? She spoke on identity. She spoke on humility, culture, um, self-righteousness. For me and my husband, it was really needed. I was struggling with my self-righteous, my judgment and self-righteousness towards, um, you know, people. It's really snowing, wow. Mainly people of faith, uh, uh, Christians, because my judgment and self-righteousness wanted so badly for other believers to stand up for the injustices in the world and to not idolize man or a man. It's hard because you want to be um, someone who stands up for what's right. Where do you find the balance of just not judging and being humble and all that? It's, it gets cra It gets hard. So anyway, that was just that was separate. Side note, just like. Other situations that have been going on. But what I also learned, I'm putting these on as hiding the under eyes rules. Are you still there? Another thing that like literally resonated with me yesterday was that my identity for so long, you know, I was unaware of how much of my identity was put into this channel. I really was not aware of it because I do, did have a relationship with God and I felt close and I was self-aware and to an extent, but, I, but clearly I did have such an identity in it because it took me getting pregnant, me going through the experience with Araya, like the whole entire life changed, like completely stripped away from my freedom, stripped away from me doing me and having the time to put into this and film and have like this be my passion. Everything was just thrown off to my location where I live, being further away from family and friends, um, to, you know, not working anymore, which to me was never a big deal. For me, it's been my channel, not just creating content and the therapeutic aspect of it, but being able to reach women all over, it's its the coolest, most amazing um, privilege. And so anyway, the whole process of filming, editing, getting ready, it's just been who I am. As time went by and I had a baby and everything, my world completely turned, like was shaken. And obviously she's the biggest blessing, but also like, 
it's been hard and you guys know that it's just been so hard for me god had to shake me kind of remove in a way the piece of it it's not like you guys are gone but the whole flow of this and the whole passion and all of it has slipped away from me and so i had to kind of like be still and let go almost but like trust god and he's been working on me there's so much in me that needs work our identities like cannot be put into this world into our career into a relationship into a status in materialism and our children even you know like and that's a hard one i'm sure because i am a mom these are my children like this is my world and it is but you know they will go off they will go to school or they will move out and then you're like stripped of your identity so that's why it's so important to have your identity in jesus for any situation you're in social media for example can creep in what you don't have comparing your life comparing your relationship comparing your marriage comparing your mothering skills like materialism like where you live just so much consumed like and it's so subtle at first i just feel like for so long too like i was dealing with why can't i be that kind of mom like why is it so easy for that person why is this you know big influencer like able to do all of that and like still have sanity like i don't understand and as much as i would rationalize like oh they have more money oh they have help like you can't compare yourself they have this this and this um it's still it still affects me and it still affects you when you look at um, maybe for you it's like looking at somebody's body on instagram you're like wow like this isn't fair and you have this like warped mentality of like your own self-image and you're comparing your life you're comparing your life if you're lacking a relationship camera shut off what else is there i don't know where i ended off just that there's going to be constantly things we're lacking and that's kind of our flesh we cannot be defined by what culture is saying we should be we can't be defined by like what what our status and culture and what other people are doing like that's not that's not what god wants for us my friend judy who is a uh, youtuber has a channel loving life with judy she was talking about this too i didn't i watched part of her video it was really really good couldn't agree more basically she mentioned stuff about what society tells you you should be and how everything should look and why should we be ashamed to be in a mess why should we be ashamed to look a certain way like why do we have to conform to what everyone thinks is normal like that's exactly kind of really aligned with this so shout out to you judy god's really using her are you guys still there i took a picture on the, one of these filters on instagram <laughs> i'm never use it again it's just too it makes like you once you do it and then you look at a picture of yourself you're like Ugh, uh. okay so here here is okay let me show you let me show you first the normal one because then you're gonna be like sure all right this is a, a a decent picture of me okay took it took a bunch of shots <laughs> and this is the one that i had the filter on it made my lips bigger and like a thinner nose and flawless skin okay that's not me that's culture. That's what's telling you what's beautiful. That's what's telling you what you lack, like, and making you insecure and feeding into. It's nuts. It's nuts. And so many things, like, very subtle things we have to be so, like, alert in that really, like, like, think about our children, our daughters, what they're going to come into in this world. And if we don't set the standard for, like, what's normal in God's eyes and carrying kingdom culture into the world and not allowing this culture to seep in if we don't be that example like they're gonna be doomed we have to set the standard another thing god's working on is my communication i really struggle with communicating with 
being able to speak with authority, with clarity and confidence, and, and even in situations that have come up with interactions with people or confrontation, it's very hard, very hard for me, and I just know it. I think God's trying to have a breakthrough in me, and so, again, your identity, if it's in Jesus, and your confidence is in Him, that's what's going to make the difference. Like, we can't do this stuff in our own strength. It's impossible, and whatever you're facing right now, give it to God. Just give it to God. Stop trying to do it in your own strength. Stop trying, stop allowing the world to form your ideas and what's normal and what's right because it's going to be a constant battle and we're going to fail. Do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. By testing, you may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12. So my camera's gonna die. Um, I love you guys and I don't know when or if, if or when I will be mm, consistent on this channel and what's going to you know, transpire, but thank you if you are watching this, if you clicked on it, if you watched to the end and I am just being worked on and I'm just allowing God to work on me. I'm not focused on what I'm lacking, what I'm not doing, I'm trying not to. I'm just trying to keep my identity in Jesus not be so concerned with what I can't control. I really hope and pray that you guys are, that whatever you're struggling with, um, that you're able to give it to God and gain strength and peace. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Happy New Year. Ciao.